All right, 11.2 video notes, arcs of circles. So talking about the outside of the circle, actually a piece of the circumference today. So we're gonna get into a few properties and how to calculate arcs and central angles and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and full screen this and jump right into it. Uh, start off with a few uh, definitions to kind of get us, get us going so we have some familiar terms we can talk about. Um, so right in the beginning, before I can even do any of this stuff, I have to find the center of the circle. So we're just going to kind of eyeball about where the center of the circle is. We'll just call that spot right there the center. <clears throat> and a central angle is basically any angle whose vertex is the center of a circle. So basically, I take off from that center point, and I go to the edge, and maybe something like that. And let's just go ahead and put some letters on this. Let's call that A. We'll call this point B, and we'll call the center in there point C. So that right there is what's referred to as a central angle. So the central angle is this angle right there. And let's actually call that something. Let's let's say that it's, I don't know, it looks to me like maybe 75 degrees. We'll just say the central angle is 75 degrees in this example. All right, so an arc. Basically, an arc is just a portion of the circumference. So recall from previous chapter, circumference is a distance all the way around. An arc is a portion of the circumference or a part of the circumference. Now if you'll notice, if, if I focus on two points, so let's just say that we have point A right here and point B right there, there's actually two arcs created uh, by, by point A and point B. There's what's called a minor arc and a major arc. So the minor arc is going to be the shortest arc between two points on the circle. Alright, so if I look at points A and B, the shortest distance between those two points would be right here. So that's what we're referring to. That is a minor arc. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write that out here. This is called a minor arc. Now, minor arcs should always be less than 180 degrees. 180 degrees is halfway around the circle, so uh, they should be less than 180 degrees because that will guarantee it's the smallest one. Now, the major arc, the major arc is the the longer arc um, between two points and this one should be greater than 180 degrees so if I'm if I'm showing the major arc on this one the major arc is going to come all the way around right there so this blue would be considered the major arc And now we normally, we uh, use notations to show the minor arc. So if I want to describe this minor arc over here, I would call this arc AB. And, and when I use two letters like that, that means I'm showing the shortest distance between A and B. If I want to describe the major arc, I have to put another letter in there somewhere. So maybe I put in, I don't know, maybe I put in a letter right here, and we call this we'll call it D and if I'm going to describe major arc I'm going to call this I go from A through D and finish at B and notice there's three letters so you have your starting letter you have your finishing letter and then the letter that you went through in between now I also could have called I could have said or arc B through D finish at A. That would work too. And the same thing up top, I could reverse these letters and I could call this arc BA. 
it doesn't really matter. So the big thing to know is that minor arcs are going to have two letters and major arc are going to have three letters. And then finally, um, you have a semicircle, which is a half circle. And should be equal to 180 degrees there. Um, now, we can also measure these arcs. So let me just kind of add this in here. So if I want to know the measure of minor arc AB, and I'm not talking about the length of it. I'm talking about the measure of it. Whatever the central angle is right here, so it's 75, that means that minor arc also has a measure of 75. And I write it like this. The measure of arc AB is 75 degrees. So that's how you find the measure of an arc. So measure of an arc is written with that notation. Now I could also find the measure of the major arc if I wanted to. I could calculate the measure of major arc ADB and I know that that's going to be 360 take away the 75 360 minus 75 uh, so it looks like that's going to be what 185 or 285, excuse me. So 285 degrees would be the measure of major arc because they have to add up to 180. So that kind of that kind of gets us uh, down here to the next phase. And I'm gonna have to scroll down the screen and kind of my letters are gonna disappear here for a second. But I'm gonna have to scroll down and I'm gonna just include the arc addition postulate. So I'll get rid of some of this other stuff and kind of go back and put a few letters on there. So let's just say A was here, and B was here, and D was somewhere over here, and then we had our center point C. Um, so basically arc addition says that I can add up arcs. So maybe I'll even put another letter on here. Maybe I'll put uh, E. And let's say that I want to find, oh, I don't know. Let's say I want to find the length of, of AED. So the measure of arc A to E to D. So we'll do this in blue. The measure of AED. So that's right here. I want to figure out what this arc measure is. Now again, it's not the length of it. That's another section. But just the measure, which is going to be in degrees. Um, if I want to find the measure of that, I need to be able to find the two separate pieces and add them together. So if I do the measure from A to E, and then I can add to that the measure from E to D, that should be able to give me the entire segment. So maybe I'll color code this, and I'll do, you know, if I know the measure from A to E, and then I add that to the measure from E to D. Basically, the red plus the green has to equal the entire blue. So you can add arcs just like you can add angles, just like you can add segments. It's the same same type of idea. Well, let's get into some problems and let's actually look at uh, let's look at some examples. And I think it might make a little bit more sense to you. All right, so we have three examples here. Find the measure of the arc or central angle indicated. Uh, so number one wants us to find the measure of angle X to U to Y. So let me just kind of color code what we're looking for. The measure of angle X to U to Y, whoops, that's down here. So basically they're wanting me to figure out how far is it from there to there. That's the question. Well, I can find that angle measure pretty easy because I noticed that this line right here, if I go all the way around to there, that's exactly 180 degrees because it's halfway around the circle. So I'm going to subtract a couple pieces out. Since this is 70 degrees here, I know that this is 70 degrees. They match. 
the central angle and the arc measure have to match each other when it's at the center like that. So, so far I have, I have 40 and I have 70. So if I have 40 plus 70, I get 110. And I'm going to subtract 110, and that means that I have 70 degrees left. So this angle is 70, and this arc out here is 70. And it has that up to 180. So basically, it's kind of like a pizza slice game. And I'm trying to make everything add up to either 180 for the whole circle, or half a circle, or 360 for the whole circle. All right, let's move to number two, the measure of arc UTW. So now we're talking, notice the notation, it's an arc. So I got to go from U through T all the way to W. So it looks like I have to add up um, a couple different ways. I could add up these three pizza slices. And if I knew those individually, I could add them up and I'd have the answer. But I don't. So I'm going to actually use subtraction on this one. Because this arc is 66, that means this angle is 66. And I think if I add these two up and subtract from 360, I should be in business. So 65 plus 66, that's 131. So 131 degrees is this red part. And the whole circle is 360. So let's do 360, take away 131. And that is going to give me my final answer which I believe is 229 degrees. Now, there was a lot of ways to do this. Um, you could also do some vertical angle moves. Um, I could have found this angle right here because I have a 180, I have a diameter. So I could have added these two up and found this guy and then used vertical angles. So there's a lot of different methods. to. You don't just have to solve each problem the same way. All right, let's double check number three here. Find the measure of minor arc, J to L. So the short distance from J to L. Well, this one's pretty easy. I just add up the two individual arcs. So 45 plus 55. So that means the measure of arc J L is equal to 100 degrees. I probably should have wrote on these other ones the measure of major arc UTW and over here I probably should have put you know the measure of angle XUY that probably went a little bit more professional looking all right let's go to the next page all right now we're going to try to apply um, what we've done to some algebra so notice we're solving for for X here uh, so I look at this problem and I find out where my x is, so basically I need to find out that. And I know I'm going to have to set up an equation. 9x minus 4 equals something. Um, so i got to figure out what that is. So for the moment, I'm going to just ignore this whole thing. And I'm going to just focus on the numbers that I have. And I do kind of see right here is a semicircle. That's halfway around. And I know that this portion over here is 130. So if I do 180 subtract 130, I get 50 degrees. So I know that this piece over here must be 50. And so now I can set, I can kind of go back and say, okay, I know that this 9x minus 4 has to somehow equal 50 degrees. And now I can start solving for it. I can add the 4 to both sides. I can divide both sides by 9. And I find out that x equals 6. So it's kind of just adding one step to what we did on the front page. So let's try this next one out. Um, I need to find out how big this arc is. So I know it's going to be 10x minus 2 equals something. Well, let's figure out the something. Um, it looks like the easiest way is going to be to add up, you know, 35 plus 92 plus 110 plus 35. Add all those guys up. That's 7, 12, carry the 1, 13, 14, 17, carry the 1. That all adds up to 272 degrees. So my missing piece is going to be 360 
the full circle minus what I've accounted for so far. And I crank that out, and I believe that's going to come out to be uh, 88, 88 degrees. So I set my equation, that slice of the pizza, to 88 degrees. I add 2 to both sides, and then I divide both sides by 10, and I get x equals 9. So use subtraction on that one. All right, coming down here, a few just different applications. Um, <clears throat> this one, they don't give me any of them. Okay, they don't tell me any of these. They ultimately want me to find out what is the real size of JL. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get an equation. Okay, number one. Number two, solve for X. And number three, plug in right there. And that should give me the answer. Well, my equation, I believe if I add up all three of these arcs, they got to be 360 degrees. So I have 4x minus 2 added to 7x minus 18 added to 6x plus 6, and that's got to be 360 degrees. Now, some of you may skip that step. You know, I know if I was doing this problem, I would probably skip that step, and I would just add these up right over here and say 4, 7, and 6, so that's 17 x's. You know, I'm basically just gathering like terms here. <clears throat> and then I would go and I'd say I'd have negative 2, negative 18, that's a negative 20. Negative 20 and a positive 6 is a negative 14. And so I typically just kind of start right there on that line and don't show the first step, but it's up to you. Add 14 to both sides, I get 374. I'm going to divide both sides by 17, and I get x equals 22. Now, that's not the answer, because I still have to do step 3. I have to plug it back in. So I take that. I plug it in right there. 7 times 22 minus 18, which that's going to shake out to be, what's that, 140, 154, subtract 18, so 136 degrees is the measure of JL. So just a little bit different twist on what we've already done. All right, moving on to the bottom. So if you were going to create a pie chart by hand um, and you were going to draw it and it was going to be accurate to scale, I mean, now a lot of times there's computer software that can do this for you. But if I'm looking at this chart dealing with music sales, and I want to find the following measures. Um, they add percentages into the mix, so let's just kind of see if we can battle through this a little bit. So we need to find the measure of angle FMC. Well, angle FMC is this angle right here. So I want to figure out how many degrees that is. Well, it looks like it's bigger than 90, but less than 180, so I'm thinking it's somewhere in there. But what I'm going to really do is I'm going to look at the percentages. So pop music sold 9%, country 10, R&B 11. So I'm going to add up those percentages, 9 plus 10 plus 11. Well, that's 30%. So 30% of the circle was those three types of music sold. So 30% of 360 degrees, well, you do 0 0.30 times 360. And that's going to shake out to be 108 degrees. And that's about what I thought. I knew it was, was somewhere between 90 and 180. It looks like it's just a little bit bigger than 90. So let's try the next one. Uh, find the measure of AHB. So I'm going to go in here and kind of erase this stuff. And so we need to go from A through H and stop at B. Well, there's two ways to do this. You know, I could add up all those individual slices, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, add them all up and do it that way. But I'm just going to subtract. If 25% of the circle is here, that means that 75% of the circle is over here. So 75% of the entire circle, 360 degrees, well, that's just 
times 360, which is 270 degrees. So sometimes you can kind of shorten this up a little bit. And now for the last one, I have EMD. So the measure of angle EMD. Let me go back over here and do this. E to M to D. Where is that? Oh, EMD is just this little tiny slice right there. Um, so basically, I'm trying to find this arc or this pi slice, which is just 10%. So same type of idea, 10% of 360. 10% is pretty easy. You just divide by 10 or move the decimal one place. So that's 36 degrees. All right, so nothing too heavy today. Um, a few percentages, knowing the degrees in a circle. But basically, you're trying to figure out pizza slices and make them add up to 180. So you should be ready for the practice. See you.